guys welcome back to my channel so today i'm going to be reviewing this wig that i got from amazon um i'm gonna put the name on the screen because i cannot i guess can me hair that is what this one is called this brand um i got this wig for a hundred dollars well it's kind of nine ninety nine it's a hundred dollars it is a 20 inch uh, 13 by 4 deep wave um, wig and it is 150% density. So it comes in like this bag. It's not a silk bag, but it's a like, it's kind of almost like sour cap material. But I think this will be good for like making sure. Whoa. Well, this will be good for uh, just making sure like your hair doesn't get ruined or anything. So. I guess if you have a lot of wigs or you have to store them just wherever you can know there's going to be no moisture getting in there um so it comes with obviously the wig and then it comes with um this headband which i think is pretty cute so it has like this little headband that comes with and then a nude then nude wig cap there we go. i don't usually use this shade i usually use the dark brown shade but i think it's so good to have it for, for me to there we go. I feel like it's not as bright anymore. But this will work for, um, what was I saying? Oh, the wig cap will work like from installing this on anyone else or even if I want to do like ball cap method. I was supposed to get, uh, I went to Beauty Supply Store this morning and I was supposed to get um, some Ruby Kisses foundation, but I completely forgot. But I have a powder foundation that I actually like to use um and other foundations so let's just get into the wig face but it's definitely a good like 13 by 4 wig like it still like curves up on the side but i don't know i really like it i really like it i've seen some 13 by 4s that come up a lot higher um so it has has four combs and an adjustable strap in the back and then it has a little bit of lace in the back, which I will probably, I probably won't install that, but it's nice to know that it has it. So you can pull it up in a ponytail if you want to. Um, but yeah, so this is pretty good. Like I can tell like it's obviously I'm gonna have to add some foundation, but I feel like this will melt pretty well. Um, the knots are definitely not bleached by any means. Um, the frontal isn't super full, but like it'll work from what I'm doing. Um, let's see. The hair, of course, I haven't washed it, so this isn't right out of the pack. Um, but let me show you what I'm talking about in the frontal. So it's not super full. It has like some like gaps, but I can say with deep wave wigs or any curly wigs, they get very full. So you don't need that many hairs in the frontal to where it's like, it'll be too full and you'll have to pluck most of it out. So what I'm going to do, because these knots are obviously not bleached, I'm going to bleach the knots. I got this Kiss, whoa. I got this Kiss uh, bleach. It was only $8.99, so I got that. I got the volume developer. Um, I just got this one, it's just $3.99. Just some regular developer. Um, and I have my mixing bowl and everything, so I'm going to come back and show y'all the consistency, but so far this hair is super soft. Oh, and also get some moisturizing shampoo as well as silicon mix, um, for when you wash it out of your hair, but this is, so we're working with. The hair is very soft. It does have a slight smell to it, but it just smells like hair. It doesn't like have like a... A weird smell but I can say it's not getting any I'm not getting any shedding as I'm playing with this but I can definitely tell the texture is gonna be good but yeah it just smells like it just smells like hair like it doesn't smell bad or anything so you can actually like if you didn't want to bleach the knots and you just want to put foundation on it you could do that like and it will be ready where like this wouldn't this smell wouldn't bother you so let me go ahead and mix the bleach and I'll be right back
Okay, so I just finished washing the wig and blow dry, well not blow dry, the deep conditioning. This is what I use to deep condition my wig. I got this from Shein. Um, and then I just have my hot tool blow dryer. I got this from TJ Maxx or Marshalls. I think TJ Maxx. I just threw away the box where I had this blow dryer, this blow dryer for like, I think since like May or June. So this is the texture of the hair. Like it's very, very soft. Um, it's even softer with the silicone mix. So it comes with baby hairs apparently. blow drying it it is not completely dry because i don't need it to be completely dry but do y'all see how full this like frontal is like and the ends down here are by no means dry they are still damp but i can deal with that i don't care if the ends are damp but like i want the cap itself to be dry um so i am I'm still trying to decide, do I want to go ahead and install this wig? I don't know what it's going to look like, how it's going to be, like, obviously, like, the roots right here are brown, but that's nothing. I, mean, I don't really feel like y'all can see it too, too much, well, that part, but, like, I don't think I can see it too, too much from there, but, like, here, like, they are brown, but that's nice to know that this hair definitely lifts very well. Like, and I only had that on for 15 minutes. So who knows, I might use that same, like, I can, I can see myself definitely repurchasing from this brand. It makes me want to make like a chocolate wig, but I don't want to turn this into a chocolate brown. I want to keep it black and I will get another one. I don't know why I was beating my mannequin on the head, but I'll get another one and make it a chocolate curly wig oh, with highlights. Yeah, don't even get me started. I don't need to buy another curly wig right now but who knows I probably will I don't think I'm gonna actually make a defined part in this so let's go ahead and I'm gonna scooch y'all over and I'm gonna go we're gonna go ahead and install this wig <laughs> 